improving your brewing water by pre-boiling it. Let's get into that. I'm Dr. Hans, this is Dr. Hans Brewery, my channel about beer and home brewing. Okay, this is my brewing water. It doesn't look that bad, but my brewing water is very, very hard and it has a lot of iron in it. Let me heat this up for you and I will show you. And there you have the difference. This is the, the water I boil up and this is the cold water. I have very hard water with a lot of iron in it and hard means it has, has a high alkalinity. So it's high in calcium, it's high in bicarbonate and not so much sulfate and chloride. And the higher the alkalinity the water has, the less sensitive it is to pH changes. It means that you have to add more acid if you want to lower pH. I bought these sheep strips to test the alkalinity and I know this is going to give a rough measurement, but if we're not getting like massive results, we can judge it on this rough measurement scale, maybe it's not even worth it. So I think this will be okay. And I don't have the money to, to spend on a fancy meter for just doing this video. So we're gonna do with this. So if I check my water here and compare it to the scale, I can see that I have an alkalinity of 120 ppm parts per million. So the idea is here to boil the water to get rid of all the uh, dissolved CO2 in the water. And what will happen then is that the bicarbonate and the calcium will bond into shock and that can drop down. And you could even add a little bit of shock to like, speed up this process. And hopefully also we will get some of the iron down in the process. So I boiled all of my water for 15 minutes. I let it cool down until it cleared up tap water into plastic containers. If you don't have a tap, you could siphon it over there. If we throw this away, we can measure the, uh, the difference, but stick to the end where I will show you the drags also. This is water from the actual experiment. I already measured this, but I will do it here also. So we can see now we are at 80 ppm of alkalinity. That means we have dropped from 120 to 80. Rough measurement, but it means it can be done. Should we heat this water up also so we can see if we can see any difference between that hot water and this hot water. So I hope you can still see that this is still clear and this is Still cloudy. Not only a visual improvement, we got an improvement in the alkalinity meter and on the brew day with this water, I didn't know exactly how much lactic acid to add, so I added half the amount that I used to add and I got down to 5.3. It also of course depends on your grain bill, but I had to more or less use half the lactic acid to get it down. Let me show you the drags. So this is huge doctor. I want to jump in here to fill out some missing information in this video. This is my nearest lake, by the way, talking about water. The reason for my water is so high in minerals like iron and all that is because I have water for my own well. And those strips are measuring alkalinity, pH and chloramine. I don't have any chloramine as it's for my own well. The pH did not change after boiling it, but the alkalinity did. I did not just try this with one batch, I tried several batches with the same result, but I also tried to just leave it overnight and not removing the water from the drags as quickly as possible. You could think that it would take a lot of CO2 to get back into the water to break that bond between calcium and um, bicarbonate that made chalk, but when I measured it, leaving it overnight, it had the same alkalinity again. The, the iron had dropped out, so I got rid of the iron, but I did not lower the alkalinity. So as soon as you see that the water is clear, get the water of the drags. Now, let's have a look at the drags. This is what I was left with, and it looks super clear here, but you can see the red there in the bottom. And if you can't, let me give this a spin. So this was in my brew room order. Nice. If you want to see the beautiful brew day, when I brew the lager with this water, you can go and check out this video. Will I do this again? Yes, it takes time, but it clearly improves the water. So, thanks a lot for watching. Dr. Hans out. Hello.